So the way the experiments were done were, was to try to understand if there's a population of cells in the kidney that are rapidly dividing um, in response to an injury, and that represents a subpopulation of the surviving cells, or whether all cells that have survived have the capability to um, go through a process of cell division to replace cells that were, um, that were lost. And we use special dyes which cells took up if they were dividing or proliferating in a way that would replace the damaged cells. So what we found in the end was that there were very few cells that took up both colors. So this suggested that there wasn't a specific population of stem cells that the repair depended on. And that, in fact, what was happening was that the cells that had survived the damaging insult, they dif de-differentiated. So in other words, they, they took on stem cell-like characteristics, although not all of them. And in fact, they weren't, they didn't go f as far back in sort of development as a stem cell would, but they went a little bit of the way back. And that allowed them to then divide. So, so what this means is that it's encouraging uh, for uh, the potential that if we could understand this process of of um, encouraging cells to de-differentiate, become less mature, as it were, they would de-differentiate, then we could potentially help patients who had traumatic injury, um, ischemic injury, uh, injury to the kidney that's very common in um, intensive care units or common after surgery.